Crate Training 101, some basics. First, I begin by just approaching the crate and clicking and treating in the crate for any interest. I make sure to toss the treats all the way to the back of the crate so that he walks in and then I can click and treat him for walking in. After that, I offer several more clicks and treats for staying in the crate. Once he has eaten those treats, I'm going to go ahead and release him with a free. That lets him know that his job is over and allows us to reapproach the crate. Here I'm repeating the same exercise. I think it's often easier if you've never done this before to start with an open plain crate with no bedding or nothing else to distract the dog. That allows the dog to freely enter and exit the crate and find the treats quickly. You can see here he's starting to maybe figure it out. He's looking at me for instruction and then when he gets nothing from me, he takes a step in the crate. After that, I immediately click and treat. And this is this dog's first session with free shaping uh, crate training, although he is already crate trained in that he understands too that going into his crate is a positive thing. Prerequisites for this type of training would be that your dog already knows a sit and a down um, and has been rewarded a lot for those two things. And that your dog is already familiar with quicker makes it a lot easier. Here I add a little fun to it by calling him enthusiastically. He seems to like it and jump into his crate there, which I like. So I click and treat. Dropped a few outside the crate. Since he had so much fun with that, I decide to add in Chase as an additional reward for the crate training. And I run away from the crate and run back. He seems a little confused, but he also seemed to like it. And he went into the crate a bit more enthusiastically, which is great. Not that he's gonna do that every time, but I'm building the idea that crate training is fun and it's not just some boring shaping exercise, which he's a, this is a young dog, he's uh, just under two. So anytime I can make anything a little more fun for him, it's only gonna help me. And there we got a nice enthusiastic step in and spin. So that was cute. Just shows me that he's having a little fun with the training, which I like to see. Okay, so here we are. This is part two of our crate training session. I've just discovered that that sort of running in is exciting for him. I'm waiting for him to give me a little more here. Um, I think he's got maybe the front paws in. There we go. And now he walks all the way in. So I'm able to go ahead and click and treat. And here I actually try rewarding from the front because I want him to start... Um, laying down and I think rewarding from the ceiling in the back is just going to encourage him to stand or sit up. So by rewarding in the front on the actual crate pan, by rewarding from the ground, that's going to encourage him to lay down, which I want to see. And there we go. So I just got a kind of lay down. I go ahead and click and treat that. Don't worry about it. If your dog gets up like he does, it's not going to affect anything in the end. He's still getting clicked and treated for um, the effort of kind of laying down. I decide to release him. Good job, well done. We did our chase. Bring him back to the crate. 
think he wants me to run away again, but I'm not going to until he does the crate. So that's his reward, part of the reward for doing the crate. And there he goes in, beautiful. And then I go ahead and add the treats there on the crate pan again, because we're still trying to get that nice uh, down behavior. And I'm not saying anything at this point. So I'm not saying crate, I'm not saying down. Even though this dog knows down, I want him to start thinking of the crate as the cue in and of itself so that when he sees the crate, he just sort of lays down. He goes in and he lays down uh, just because we approached it. And later on, I'll put this on cue. Um, but right now, I want him to sort of think through the process. And there we go. So he laid down. So I'm going to deliver the treats right between his two front paws. And this crate is a little small for this dog. Uh, which is nice because it's it's allowing me to show you guys how I do crate training a little better uh, because this dog is already crate trained. The smaller crate's adding sort of a weirder aspect to it for him, so he's a little more reluctant to go in, which is great, um, just for learning purposes. So here I, I actually start walking away. So just a few steps right now. This dog already does know... Um, Remember, this dog already does know sit and down, and he does have a down stay as well, so this is not all new for him. So if your dog only has a sit and down but not the stay, you're going to stick with the first portion of this video until you work on stay. Um, but if your dog has sit down stay, you can jump on into this part here. There's the release. And I'm going to run back. He's checking in with me to make sure he really has to go in. I'm not saying anything. And he goes, oh, I get it. To restart this game, I've got to go in here. There's a sit. There's a kind of lay down. Is that good enough? And I say, yeah, yeah, it is. That was a good try. So he eats his cookies. He checks in. Oh, there we got the full lay down. That's awesome. I'm going to click treat right away. And then I'm going to go ahead and immediately start adding my distance again and coming back and treating every time. So I say, if you let me walk away, then I will come back and give you a treat. So that's going to start building him on the idea that sometimes when I ask him to go to his crate, I might need him to stay there, and I might walk away from him and still need him to stay there. So that's the foundation for a behavior. Um, like if any of you have dogs, like this dog, who are just really excited when people come over to the door, you can go ahead and start teaching them this behavior so that they can go to their kennels, lay down, you can answer the door, and then after you've gotten your pizza or whatever, or your guests have come in and gotten seated, that then you can let the dog out to go say hi, and you don't have to deal with all the drama, and you don't have to worry that your dog's rushing the door. Because if you have a dog like this guy, there's a lot of people that don't appreciate this kind of dog just running up to the door and charging them. There's a lot of people who are scared of dogs. So now that you've done steps one and two, this is what I like to do for step three, and this is just a little bit of impulse control work. In order to do step three, your dog's gonna have to know a leave it. Um, and this dog already does know a leave it, so we'll go ahead and we're moving into step three. If your dog, dog doesn't have a leave it, it's not a big deal, just do steps one and two for now. Work on leave it separately, and when your dog has a good leave it, you can go ahead and work on this step three. And I'm actually not cueing this dog to leave it, and that's really important. I'm just putting a temptation just out of his uh, kennel, and then I'm clicking and treating him for not just going for it right away. And it's important, I think, not to cue this. The crate is the cue for leave the outside world in and of itself. So I want my dog to think when he's sitting in his kennel, if he sees something that he wants outside of his kennel, whether it's food or toys or another dog, that he's not supposed to just go take it, even if I'm not there to say leave it. And that's why I don't like to use the word leave it or the cue leave it for this exercise. I just like to uh, let the crate be the cue of itself. And here I've experimented with a few things. Um, I was working with some kibble earlier. You saw me sort of dump out that bag of kibble. Now this is something a little higher value. I've got a bag of treats there. He did a good job, so I go ahead and tell him all done. 
So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and I hope it helps you crate train your dogs.